Welcome. This is a video about using Canvas and Zoom together to make class presentations in these days of the coronavirus. The first thing you need to do is check and make sure that you have Zoom enabled in your class, which means it should be showing up in these blue links here on the left of the page. And uh, we see that it isn't. So if it's not en enabled, which it's not by default, you go to Settings. And in Settings, click on Navigation. And scroll down the page. And here are a bunch of apps that are not installed by default. And select Zoom and bring it up to the top of the page. And put it into this menu up at the top to put it in the menu of apps that are enabled. And while we're at it, we're going to do WebEx also, since we may be using WebEx at some point for doing uh, presentations. And after you do that, make sure that you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. OK, so now Zoom has been enabled. Uh, let's go back to the home page, and we see that uh, Zoom and WebEx now appear in the list of applications. OK, so let's go to the Zoom page. This is where all of my meetings will be listed. There aren't any yet, of course, so this list is empty. So let's schedule a new meeting. So we click on Schedule a New Meeting. And I'm going to, let's give it a title, uh, Zoom and Canvas. Uh, tutorial. I'm going to skip the description. It's starting right away, so I won't bother setting the time. Uh, it's not a recurring meeting. I'll more on that later. And here I'm going to leave the host video on and participant video off. Both audio is on for both, although I recommend you leave mute participants upon entry checked so that there's not a lot of noise when people sign in. They, their mic will be muted by default. Here's the meeting ID, more on that later. And I'm going to click record the meeting automatically in the cloud. So not only is it a live meeting, but I'm going to be keeping a recording of it. I click Save, and now I have saved this meeting. So let's go back to our Zoom page and see now in the list of meetings, on the Zoom page, I see uh, I have a meeting scheduled for today at 1 o'clock, Zoom and Canvas tutorial. There are some other things to look at on this page, uh, which I'll illustrate in a minute. There's previous meetings, uh, the personal meeting room, and cloud recordings. All right, so let's start the meeting. I click the Start button, and that launches Zoom. And I've already installed Zoom on my computer, so I can skip a step here. I click on this button, and Zoom gets launched. And I have these options here, and I'm going to join with computer audio. So this will start the Zoom session, and it's running on my uh, camera on my computer. And I'm going to make it extremely brief. This meeting is over. I just want to show you how the whole thing works. So let's end the meeting and go back to the Zoom page. And now we see that Here's the meeting listed as before. Uh, but what's new is under Cloud Recordings, when I click there, I see that there is uh, the meeting has been recorded. And here is the meeting, the video and audio, and also just the audio separately. OK, so let's go take a look from the student's point of view. So to do that, you go to the home page all the way down to the bottom to Settings. And up in the right here, student view. So this is what a student will see. And you notice that under the to-do list, there's some information about these meetings. And if the student clicks on the Zoom page, you will see he has uh, the opportunity to join the meeting here. And also, the cloud recordings uh, are available. The student can click and see uh, the list of cloud recordings the list of recordings here, and 
uh, here are the recordings again, the video and just the audio. So these are available automatically to the students. That's one of the advantages of using Zoom together with Canvas. All right, so let's go back to the Zoom page and now let's schedule a recurring meeting. So this is how I'm going to schedule all of the classes that I'm scheduling. So this is Math 636. Uh, I'm going to call this Remote Classes. And here's the, I'll pick the start date. So I'm going to start on Monday the 30th. And the time is noon. That's the regular class time. It's one hour. And now it's a recurring meeting. So I'm going to make it weekly on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And certainly not Sunday. And I'm going to go through, I'm not sure when classes end, so I'll just put the Friday, the May 29th. And the rest of the settings are the same. And again, I'm going to click record meeting automatically. And again in the cloud and click save. So now I have a whole bunch of meetings uh, set up. So let's take a look. When I go to my Zoom page, I see that I have all of these meetings. And the first one is on Monday, March 30th, and it's recurring. And let's take a look from, again, from the student point of view. Uh, when the student logs in, uh, again, he will see a bunch of these things in his to-do list, his or her to-do list. And when the student clicks on Zoom, the student will see uh, again all of these recurring meetings and have the opportunity to join them as before and also it, these meetings will show up on the student's calendar as we see here so again these integrations are the advantages to doing zoom this way through canvas Here's one other thing I'd like to point out. Let's go to the Zoom page and click on one of these meetings that I've set up. And we see here there's a URL. And this is a URL that anybody can use to attend a meeting. And if you click copy the invitation, there's more detail. And towards the bottom of this file is a list of ways that someone can uh, attend such a meeting. There's the URL, there's the meeting ID, and there are even phone numbers for attending. So if you go here and do copy meeting invitation, you can then send an email to anybody in the world and they will be able to attend your uh, Zoom class. Now, on the other hand, as far as I know, it's not possible to make the recordings uh, that are available to your Canvas students, readily available uh, to someone who's not registered in Canvas. I'm going to conclude this video with a very brief demonstration about how one can actually use Zoom to teach a class. And so I've launched a Zoom session here. And I'm going to uh, show you how to share the screen. So um, down here at the bottom there's the share the screen button and you click on that and there are various things that you can share if you have an iPad or an iPhone or if you have a text window open or a PDF uh, for another example is a, a whiteboard and it's quite difficult to use a whiteboard with a mouse but uh, it is possible and there's a, a, a drawing tool and one can also type in this window and you see that uh, you can be talking and uh, your image will be recorded up here on the right and the screen that you're sharing will be visible. And there are many, many options of how to present material this way, including a document camera or a um, drawing pad, but I won't go into that further here.